2013, the DILG transferred to a new building in the absence of ICT infrastructure and less ICT resources. With the policies and guidelines issued by MITHI, the department was able to submit its ISSPLG sector 2015 to 2017. This was approved and has ever since equipped the department with robust ICT infrastructure, resources, and up-to-date information through the implementation of the following ICT projects. LAN, WAN, an IP telephony project. The first phase of the local area network, white area network, an IP telephony project, established a major ICT infrastructure in the central office and three pilot regional offices, namely, Region 5, Region 8 and Region 10. This includes structured cabling solution at the central office and three regional offices. A data center that houses all ICT equipment, devices, application systems and databases. A wired network to all DILG floors that provides stable and sufficient interconnection to officials and employees. A wireless network solution to DILG employees, visitors and guests on their mobile devices. Establishment of virtual private network between central office and three regional offices for purposes of secured voice and data communication. Installation of IP telephones with local lines or four-digit numbers to all offices within the central and regional. Hence, using four-digit numbers, calls from the central office to the three regional LG use and vice versa are free of charge. Adoption of the DILG trunk line number 028876DILG, which is equivalently dialed as 028876-3454, that expresses the DILG's distinctive entitlement. The introduction of the voice over internet protocol technology in the department has paved the way for a cost-efficient solution without compromising the delivery of an acceptable voice quality and digital transmission. With the benefits and savings generated using IP telephones, the department proposed the expansion of the LAN, WAN, and IP telephony project in its ISSP 2018-2020. With the approval of the ISSP 2018-2020, the department was able to strengthen the ICT infrastructure of the central office and install the same infrastructure and connectivity to the remaining 13 regional offices. Establish a disaster recovery site at the DILG regional office with a VPN connectivity from the central office data center. The DR site shall serve as an alternative backup facility when the primary location becomes unusable, caused by calamities or disasters. Extreme disasters can paralyze, or at worst, cause the department to lose all its data. This solution will ensure that the DILG can immediately recover and retain public service in all situations. Expand the capability of using the four-digit local numbers to the provincial offices and highly urbanized cities through the use of mobility solution on mobile phones. The integration of a GSM gateway has supported the execution of unlimited calls from an IP telephone to a mobile number. Using the four-digit local numbers, a seamless communication between central, regional, provincial and highly urbanized city offices is established. It is very cost-effective and efficient in terms of communication. As assessed in 2019, this innovation in communication has led the department to generate savings up to 1,013,569.49 pesos. The figures does not yet include the NDD charges that are supposed to be incurred when using the regular analog lines. Apart from savings, the IP telephone and mobility solution technology brought an increase to employees' efficiency and productivity. This is because transactions are now easily settled and the waiting time has been lessened. This 2020, the department is moving forward to next levels of technology, such as acquisition of audio-visual system or video conferencing. This will support the monitoring of programs and projects and disaster-related activities. Crisis management meetings that requires physical presence can be implemented more easily wherever decision-makers are located. DILG shall likewise embark in the acquisition of security surveillance systems that aim to provide all the floors of DILG a real-time viewing and close monitoring of all DILG officials and employees. The provision of security surveillance systems increases the level of security that the department can render. With the ever-increasing size of data that the central office is accumulating and handling, 
The department also looks forward of engaging another disaster recovery site or backup site in another DILG regional office. Parallel to the enhancement of the ICT infrastructure is the development of information systems. The establishment of information systems has given the department a more streamlined, practical, and powerful way of collecting, storing, and using data, resulting to a more comprehensive monitoring, evaluation, and supervision of local government units. An accurate and up-to-date information serves as an essential tool for achieving the DILG's major final outputs, which resulted to an improved response provision. This provides a more encompassing view of each local government unit's good governance and acknowledging it through awards and incentives. This has come into fruition under the LGU Information Management Program with the following as its sub-projects. The Subai Bayan, formerly known as the Programs and Projects Management System. This can be accessed through http colon slash slash the application system was aimed to monitor the physical and financial accomplishments of the department-initiated projects. Within the span of 2018 to 2020, the continuous enhancement of the web-based information system provided add-on features such as project profiling, monitoring, and analysis, geotagging and map integration, dashboards, image uploading, Facebook API for project campaign and promotion. Project risk monitoring and single sign-on through the DILG intranet website. LGU201 profile system, available through the URL lgu201.dilggov.ph. This consolidates and merges the local government unit's data to provide a comprehensive information on LGU's financial, economic and political profile, emergency contact numbers and geospatial location, disaster-related data, award citations and best practices. The following are its subsystems. The Barangay Information System or BIS. This covers multiple subsystems designed to establish and maintain the Barangay's information nationwide, such as Barangay Officials Profile, Demographic, Political and Socio-Economic Data. It also serves as tool to measure their housekeeping activities and compliance to the national policies, particularly on financial matters. The subsystems included are the following. 1 of the notable online web application system is the death benefits claims of barangay officials. The application provides real-time information and facilitates the processing and monitoring of death benefit claims of every barangay official. The online application system is being utilized by the department in processing and the timely release of barangay officials' death benefit claim. General Administration System or GAS to support the efficient and effective implementation of programs and projects by the bureaus, services and other project management offices, the development of the following subsystems under the general administration system was realized. The ultimate objective of developing several information systems is to establish a centralized databases of LGU, Barangay, programs and projects for purposes of data analytics. Outputs such as dashboards and statistical reports shall then form part of the executive information system. The EIS portal shall now serve as the source of meaningful information by the top management and support to planning, policy formulation and decision making. The EIS dashboards include, but is not limited to, BIS dashboards, such as the DBC dashboards and Barangay Officials Profiling Dashboard. LGU-201 dashboards such as Elective Local Officials Profiling Dashboard and LGU-P4 Dashboard. Programs and Projects Management Dashboard, which includes the sub Dashboard. General Administration Dashboard, Financial Reporting System Dashboard, and Workforce Analysis Dashboard. 
apart from the innovations that supports the regular operations of the DILG local government sector, a cross-agency ICT project was proposed the Anti-Illegal Drugs Information System. The ATIS is a cross-agency project of the Department of the Interior and Local Government, Dangerous Drugs Board, Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, Philippine National Police, Department of Social Welfare and Development, and Department of Health. It aims to support the current trust of the government to eradicate the illegal drug problem in the country. The online application systems and web portal of the ATIS enabled and enhanced the collection, storing, managing and analysis of data and information related to illegal drugs nationwide. It includes the profiling of drug surrenders, frequency and characteristics of drug surrenders and the aftermath, intervention and community integration of the drug surrenders and apprehended individuals. The Anti-Illegal Drugs Information System Project was conceptualized in 2016 through the Mamamayan Ayaw sa Anomalya, Mamamayan Ayaw sa Illegal na Droga, or the Masa Masid Project of the DILG, in support to the present administration's trust to address illegal drug menace in the country. Hopefully, will help address, number one, the disinformation that is being given to the international community. Gusto namin pakita sa buong mundo na ang administrasyon po natin ay hindi lang malakas sa paghuhuli. We're not just strong on the supply reduction, we're also simultaneously strong in the demand reduction by getting more rehab, by helping our constituents, by drug prevention, by education. This is one way where we could strengthen convergence amongst agencies. Apart from this, acquisition and procurement of ICT resources were also conducted in 2019. This included 50 laptops, 243 desktop computers and web cameras, one internet leased line for the PNP, and 75 fingerprint scanners. The PDEA Operations Report and Management Information System or PORMIS, and the PNPDRDIGS Fingerprint Matching System, were also developed and deployed. Rollouts and trainings were also conducted on all provincial and regional police stations. This 2020, the ATIS aims to conduct the procurement of ICT equipment and software development, provision of technical services and training of trainers, database build-up, assessment workshop, and monthly consultation meetings with concerned agencies. The DILG has continuously proposed ICT innovations through the Information Systems Strategic Plan to be able to provide exemplary technical services in support to the regular operations of bureaus, services and regional offices and for the crucial decision-making process of the top management. The DILG never ends its passion in introducing technological advances to achieve the department's desire for a quality, effective and efficient organization and will continuously uphold its commitment to the Philippine government's thrust towards a better public service.